what's going on Amazon sellers or hopefully soon to be Amazon sellers. My name is Bill Crable and in this video I want to go over a 2019 updated version and tutorial of Keepa. Now Keepa has just made some changes and they now charge $17 per month. And to be very honest with you, if Keepa charged $1,000, I would still pay for the tool just because it is so important and crucial to your Amazon business, especially if you're selling big name brand products as a third party seller, just like how I am. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Bo Crable and I sell hundreds of thousands of dollars a month on Amazon and also I have students from all across the globe and most of the students do business part time over some if I'm not lucrative enough to make this their primary source of income. And what I want to cover in this video is a complete version, updated version of what I use Keepa for, a tutorial, and how to go utilize it. So the four points I'll be covering is price history, sales rank history, low sales ranks to verify, which I'll touch on what that really means later, and trends. That's what I use Keepa for, and let me get into that right now. So Keepa is a tool that you can go to Keepa.com, K-E-E-P-A.com, and you can download it, and it turns into a Chrome extension whenever you go to Amazon. So you go to amazon.com and when you want to research products, you can then, this little thing pops up automatically and then you can start to utilize it. So the first thing I wanna go over is price history. Now when we look at price history, let's actually use this Crest uh, product that's sold by a third party seller. Um, we can see right here. And when I'm looking at price history, all I care about is the buy box price, unless I'm doing FBM, uh, but I only really care about the buy box price which is gonna be the pink dots. Um, you can look at all this stuff that's just other miscellaneous information, but the pink dots represent the buy box. If you don't know what the buy box is, I have videos on how you can win the buy box and what you need to do to actually win the buy box. And in my Amazon course, I have entire modules just about that and how to win the buy box when Amazon's on the listing. However, um, what this represents is that there's the buy box prices on the left-hand side is the prices, right? It's going up and then it's time on the right. So the right's going on. So as time goes on, the prices can change. Every second, every hour, every time, the buy box can change. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that there can be multiple people on the buy box. So what I'm looking at here is I want to see if the price will go down to a certain point and will I still be profitable. For example, I'm looking at this Crest product right here and if I go back all the way to a year, which I really like to look as long as possible on this product. So we can see that it's actually usually been at $10.35. Right now, it's actually pretty inflated. If we look at the current buy box price, it's $14.99. And the reason why I wanna look at simply the average or kind of where it's been at most of the time is because if someone was selling this product at $10.35 for a very consecutive period of time, it means they were making a profit. No one in their right mind was gonna sell a product for that long at a loss. They're not gonna do that. Um, it seems like there was an outlier right here at $7.00 that may could have just been a mistake or some idiot just actually put the buy box price down on accident because we see it just went right back up. So I'm not really gonna count that because it seems like an outlier. But we do see it's been up. So what I wanna look at here is if I'm selling this product, I wanna make sure when I go into the FBA fee calculator, which I have videos about that on my YouTube channel, is I wanna make sure that I'm making a profit at $10.35. So that's why I'm really looking at price history. Uh, the second thing I wanna look at um, about price history, which I'm going about later, will be with comparing the uh, sales ranks with the, um, what's it called, the sales rank history, but I wanna go over the sales rank history first. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the sales rank history. So the sales rank history, what you can do is press the button that says sales rank history and take off buy box. Okay, so when I'm looking at sales rank, what I'm really looking at here is why is the sales rank going up and down or how much can it vary off of? When a sales rank is going up, that means it's actually selling slower. When it's going down, it means it's selling faster. Now, what could cause a sales rank history or a sales rank to go up? Well, obviously, when there's less sales with the product, but what's causing that? Well, it could be a price change. Maybe someone raised their price and now it's selling uh, slower. Uh, maybe it's just a not good time of the year. Maybe someone uh, changed, the list, changed the listing. Usually what it comes down to is the time of the year, seasonality, and the prices. That's pretty much the only reasons why sales ranks will change. Um, consistently if it's a private that's in demand because I only sell name brand products on Amazon, I don't private label. So, I mean, when you're private labeling, yeah, your sales rank can change just because you're marketing and all that random stuff. But if we look at the buy box, right? Well, this is perfect. Look at the sales rank shot up when someone went from 1035 and they raised their price to 1299. And when that happened, the sales rank went from 6,000 up to 12,000. So then what they did is they lowered it and it went back down and started selling well. 
And then we can see here, same thing's going on. People are raising it, went up a little bit, and then they raised it, now it's going up, up, and up, up, so it's trending up. And that's what I'm really looking at at sales rank history. So now what I wanna go over is low sales ranks to verify sales. Now I apologize, there may be some loud noises going on right now. Right now I'm in Bali and there's some really loud construction going downstairs, So, but I wanna get this out for you. So what I'm talking about here is when there's a product that has a sales rank that is not selling very fast. Let's take, for example, this product right here. Um, let's go to the past month. And if we look at the sales rank down below, right? It says the sales rank, it actually doesn't even have a sales rank, so that you, even better, right? When you can't really verify the amount of sales off a product, what you can actually use Keepa for is to see, really, if the product is selling. What I mean by this, um, on Amazon, sales ranks change every hour, every minute. So what's going on here is if a product is not selling at all, it's gonna to continue to keep going up. If it's selling, it's gonna to continue to go down. So let's say um, three hours go by, right? It has been a sale, it's gonna go up, up, and up. But then if a sale happens, it's gonna go down. So we can see here, if we look at the past month, exactly what's happening. Um, around March, what are we, 13th or so, it's just going up, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. Oh, there's a little down right there, so there may have been a sale, but it's up, up, and then and then dramatically down. So boom, there's a sale right there, then went up again, and then down again. So that little small down is a sale. So now what you can figure out, you can start to count these little downs and figure out, okay, how many sales have happened in the last month. Okay, so the last thing I wanna cover is trends. Now what I mean by this is about seasonality and simply changes throughout the year of a product. And now this would be a very perfect example of these bumblebee uh, clubs. If we look back in, let's say all, right? It's been out for six, 647 days. Let's, what I really wanna look at is actually just sales rank history. So let's take off everything that's not sales rank history. And we can actually see that what happened here, it seems like the sales rank went down quite a bit. And also right here, the sales rank went down quite a bit. The reason for this, it's actually October. Now why would this product sell better in October? Well, Halloween, right? This is kind of a Halloween gift that sells very well. So that's what also something Kiba can tell you is that, okay, well, if you're about to buy this product and it's September, and you're getting a good price on it, maybe you think you're about to buy too much inventory because right now the sales rank is at 200,000, but realize, okay, it's about to be October, this thing's gonna sell probably better. So that's something else also to look out for. So there's one more thing I wanna talk to you about with Keepa. So I actually have a tool called the Crable Analyzing Software Tool, and what you can actually utilize Keepa for when using my tool is, let's say you upload a spreadsheet and some products, right? And let's, you put in your filters, let's say one to 10,000, profit making a dollar to $2,000. ROI five to let's say 2000%, right? When you look at products that you want to potentially go buy and invest into, there's actually a link right in to my tool in um, what's called the Create My Analyzing tool that you can actually get a direct link to Keepa where you can start to actually analyze Keepa on yourself if for some reason you don't want to download Chrome. And then also if you really want to actually take a direct link to Amazon where then you can research that product and then if you do have Chrome, it can get populated. If you want to get access to the Crable analyzing software, there'll be a link down below where you can go to boatcrable.com uh, slash analyzer tool and you can access to that. It's 40 bucks a month and it's another tool that I use in my own business uh, for that. But do I do own the tool so there's bias with it, but I use it every single day just along with Keepa. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions, drop them down below in the comments. Uh, if you want me to cover anything about Keepa or any questions at all about selling on Amazon, if you want to learn more about selling name brand products on Amazon, I'll actually be having a free online workshop, which you can actually click the link in my description um, or bio, and you'll be able to get access to that online workshop. So thanks so much for watching this. Uh, have a great day and get after it.